Uh, this video is going to talk about the EDI Utility Toolbox and sort of the, the basics, the getting started component of it, what the toolbox is and how it operates, and then there'll be uh, additional videos for each of the tools in the toolbox. Uh, the concept for all of our tools is EDI for regular people. It's our tagline. It's really designed uh, to put EDI in the hands of the end users, the people who need the business data out of it. Uh, it is, however, uh, widely used by the EDI analyst and uh, technical class as well. And particularly the toolbox, there is a combination of tools that are quite, quite uh, user friendly. And there's some that do require some knowledge of, of EDI. Uh, but don't worry, uh, we are here at EMS to help you through all those if you are not an EDI analyst. Uh, so fear not. Um, com contrasting the EDI toolbox, I'm sorry, the EDI. Um, utility toolbox with our other major product, the Reader. The Reader, which you can go back and, and take a look at some videos on that as well, uh, is designed to open up EDI files and render the contents of the file, or the transactions of the file, in human readable format. Uh, the toolbox, this product we're talking about today, is a little bit different. It's really a collection of tools, first of all, that do file management. So we do uh, things with uh, the files themselves. You can move them around, you can edit them, you can slice and dice them, you can combine them, uh, change values in them, etc. And you'll, we'll kind of see how that works in a second. Um, at the moment, it's a collection of tools. At the time of this publishing, there's 19 of them, and there's always uh, some on the move. Uh, we're always adding to the toolbox, and at this point, we probably uh, will be adding another tab soon. Uh, important part of uh, this concept, this whole toolbox concept, is that most of these tools come from suggestions from the field. So uh, if there's something you need done and the toolbox does uh, some of it or not all the way, uh, those are the things we love to hear about because those are the, the ideas that trigger the next great tool in the toolbox or, or an enhancement to one of the existing tools. So we're very much, uh, very much into uh, feedback from the users. I also want to point out, I said there's 19 at the time of this video publishing, yet there's 20 on the page, and I do like to point out this one in the corner here. That is a custom tool that a user had commissioned, so they're the only people who get that one. I like to show it there. It's a nice possibility, so if you do need a custom tool that's really unique to your environment, uh, they're very affordable, and they can be added to the toolbox uh, for your uh, organization only. All right, let's take a quick walk through uh, the the toolbox and how it operates. And here is a, a live shot of the toolbox. It is a licensed application. You can see in the bottom uh, how long your license is uh, good through. Uh, each of these buttons uh, represent a, um, a tool in the toolbox. And as you mouse over them, you'll see a little a little mouse over tells you a little bit about what the, what the um, tool does. So the EDI file inventory, uh, it basically will search through a folder of files and tell you what you have. Uh, the 835 inventory, a very close uh, cousin to the file inventory, this only looks at 835 remittances and gives you uh, pieces of information on 835s only that's a little more detailed than what you see up here in this one. The EDI file joiner will combine multiple EDI files into a single file and it will control, uh, will prevent rather you from joining dissimilar files. Uh, so it's going to make you keep them uh, of the same type. So at the end, we end up with a valid EDI file. Uh, the 835 file splitter, it has a close cousin, uh, the 835 claims extractor down here. That will allow you to take an 835 remittance file and split it into some number of other files by various criteria. Now the splitter will take a single file and create some number of other files that, that equal the sum of the of the, um, some of the parts will equal the total. So it's basically going to account for every claim in the file. And you can do it a number of different ways. Where the claims extractor um, does not try to balance uh, all the claims to the original. What it wants to do is just pick out certain claims from the file and extract them into their own. There is also a um, 837 file splitter and an 837 claims extractor, which do the exact same thing, well, almost exact, um, and 837 claims file. So there's uh, four very high, closely related tools. We have a pair of related tools here, the 835 record finder and the 837 record finder, and they allow you to go through a file a folder full of files looking for a specific patient. So you can see all of the claims files where a certain patient was, was billed or all the remittance files where a patient was paid or adjudicated. File processor allows you to uh, move files around, uh, copy, 
uh, delete even based on their file types. It's a very uh, good way to um, manage your files. The file renamer for 277 is a very specific utility. We'll rename 277 files in a, uh, in a folder with the uh, payee ID into the file name. We have a tool for removing PHI from files on a batch basis. We have an EDI uh, file editor. It's a, it's a full-blown editor that lets you um, edit the actual files themselves at the loop uh, segment and element level, including global edits. Very powerful tool, probably the most powerful tool in the toolbox. Um, the 835 element reporter allows you to do mini uh, file re um, report writing, if you will, on an 835 file based on certain elements. So it says, tell me um, all the charges for a certain CPT code and what they add up to. That type of thing. You can crosswalk values in any EDI file using a crosswalk table. So if you want to renumber all your patient accounts, that's the tool to do it. We have a couple compliance tools. One of them is an 835 balance checker. It doesn't do anything. It just tells you whether or not an 835 is in balance based on the balancing requirements of the specification. The ISA file splitter will, uh, on the occasion when you'll see a multiple ISA segments in a file, there's a lot of debate out in the field whether or not that's valid. We, we don't believe it's valid, but even if it is, we have the firm opinion that it's not a great idea. So this gives you the ability to split them out into their individual files. The PLB reporter is a, is a quick way to look at an 835 file or an entire folder of 835 files and just extract all of the remit level adjustments or PLB segments. We have an ICD-10 crosswalker that will um, crosswalk ICD-10 codes down to an ICD-9 or vice versa, 9 to 10, with full editing capabilities. And there is a video out there on, a, on how that one works. That's a pretty comprehensive tool. And that is the EDI Utility Toolbox. A couple things to mention on the toolbox overall before we get into the individual tools. Uh, no original files are ever harmed during what we call toolboxing. So any of the tools that do editing or changing or splitting or combining or any of those things, the original files are always kept completely intact. So you will always be uh, given an ability to create a, new, uh, we'll create a copy or a new file in a separate location, optionally. Uh, another little caveat for those of you who are starting to use the toolbox, uh, the toolbox is known to hide when it goes in and minimizes. So in Windows 7 for sure, uh, it drops down into your system tray. So sometimes it just sneaks away on you. So um, not a big deal. And that uh, is the overall concept of the toolbox. Uh, check the individual uh, videos on each of the tools.